Good morning and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer and this is A Country Life. I do a whole lot of cooking and homemaking and gardening and just country living in general, cranberry farming and homeschooling. Today we're gonna to focus on homeschooling. Let's get to it. I really wanted to today give you guys a good look. Sorry, I have these above lights and it's kind of making it funny, but I really wanted to give you guys a look at this particular curriculum called In the Hands of a Child. These are project packs, lap books, that style of learning, which I guess you could also call unit studies. So I just wanted to kind of run you through two of the different units that I have on hand here. This is one we're doing right now. The website is called handsofachild.com. No in the, if you are looking for this online. And you can scroll through, they have so many. I don't even wanna uh, guess how many they might have, but they have so many. Each one is its own unit study, and they have science and history and math topics and just for fun topics, all kinds of things. Animals, and you will hear some kids in the background because of course we're homeschooling. <laughs> there are multiple ways to buy these curriculums. You can purchase the ebook. The e-file is usually fairly cheap, around $5.99 to $6.99, and this is what you will get. You will get everything in here just as an e-file that you can print off of your own printer, take it to a library or your print shop of choice and print the whole thing. You can print it all on white paper. You can even print it all in black and white and that's gonna work totally, totally fine. You can also purchase it by, just like I did right here, this right here you can purchase. And each individual book is a different price. This one was $12.50. However, everything is here. You don't have to print it, um, and it's spiral bound. That can be very helpful um, if you find yourself to be a little disorganized, if you don't have a printer or access to a printer easily, that is a very helpful way to use it. This would be able to be used for one child if you purchase the book like this and you don't have a printer. If you purchase it this way, but you have a printer, you can then print off the pages that you need for each individual child, which would be all of the little cutouts. I'll get to that in a minute. You can also, for even a, a bigger expense, you can purchase the booklet like this. It will come in the mail. You can also purchase the folders if you would like, otherwise we just have our own. I just buy a pack of these, you know, at Walmart, and then you can glue your own lap books together. Some lap books only require one um, file folder folded like this, so you just have like one little book. Some of them have a whole lot more to them, require two uh, file folders folded together. Some of them that we've done even require a third flap um, getting glued up here to fold up and open up because there's so many of these little um, booklets that go inside. If you want, you can purchase these from the company already glued together for you. Actually, I would not recommend that because I think that's much more expensive to do it that way. You can also purchase the extra sheets. So let's say that you wanna purchase one of these books, but and you don't have access to a printer, and you have multiple children, you can purchase one of these sets. It will come in a sleeve just like this, labeled which unit or which book it goes with. See right here, 1122, 1122, and it will come printed on various colors of paper so that it's kind of ready to go with the colored paper. Um, if you use white paper, my kids oftentimes color them in, and you can see Maria even colored in on the colored paper. Okay, but all of the little project pages are in this sleeve. All right, let's take a walk through this now. You open up the book. It has a little cover page, and it says bringing laughter and learning together in the hands of a child. It tells you a little bit about exactly what is a project pack, uh, how is this going to help me, how do I put together the supplies I need. There's not much for supplies. You basically need either a glue stick, a bottle of glue, a stapler, maybe some pencils, crayons, markers, that kind of thing, um, scissors for sure, scissors that your child can, you know, work very well, and then you might need like a brad fastener, 
But that's pretty much it. Here you go if you want to keep some notes as to extra things that you might want to do. And then this is where it really um, gets, you know, this is where it kind of gets to the nitty gritty here. Here's the table of contents. It tells you everything that's in here and what page it's on. What I like to do is to put these little, like some sort of little sticker, and I'm not very good at getting them even, but I put a little sticker here so I can find it easily when I'm paging through and doing this. This particular one is called, if you didn't notice, Healthy Bodies, and it says here grades through th three through eight. In my opinion, that is completely wrong. I would say that this is a first through probably a fourth grader would be more accurate for this particular unit. It's very, very basic knowledge when it comes to exercise and things like that. This here is a five day unit. So it's a very short and like I said, it's a very simple, simple unit but it does kind of meet that little need if you're like, hey, we just kind of need to, maybe for your state or whatnot, you need to have a health um, credit for you know your younger children. This definitely fits the bill. There are no vocabulary words specifically for this unit. That is one of the reasons why I say it's a very simple one. And then it takes you through what you need to do each day for the reading, which the reading is all in this book. It takes you through the activities, number one, number two, number three, number four, which activities you do on which day. The activity directions are in here as well as all of the activity pages. And then if there is a continuous activity that you need to do. In this particular one, there is a log book that they log in, like their endurance, their flexibility, and their strength types of exercises that they do every day. So they just kind of keep a log and it helps them to see what types of things they do and how that might affect their health. There is a bibliography in here. It gives some websites if you want more information. I rarely go to those. I have had some of my older kids do uh, some of these in the past to kind of make it be a little longer than maybe a five or six day unit. I have had them go to the websites and just sort of peruse around and see what they offer. The next thing that I actually label are the activity instructions. A couple pages ago where you saw like do activity one and two on day one, here is like the directions for that. The question that they're going to have to answer, it tells you how to put together the layer book and it tells you where to staple it and things like that. The next thing that I have labeled are the readings. So back on that page of day by day, it tells you what to read. If we look at day one, you have to read, whoops, guided reading, there we go, healthy bodies and why do we need to move? So we go over here and we have to read healthy bodies, which takes us down to here, and why do we need to move, which is here, and then it takes you to there. So not a lot of reading at all for this unit. Again, that's why I say it's for a much younger child. I read this aloud to them and then we talk about it as we go. I usually interject a whole lot more, at least for this unit, I have found myself interjecting a whole lot more. And the kids have had a lot of questions as well. There they go. <laughs> They've had a lot of questions um, that we have addressed as well. So all of the readings, are right in this book. The next thing that I have, oh, I did not, I guess I don't have it labeled in here, would be all of the project pages. So when it tells you that you have to do the activity one, this is activity one, healthy rules. So it goes on this page and this page, and then your layer book should look like this. So you cut out all of these pages the question said, what are the five rules to a healthy body? And on each page, you write a rule. You staple them together, one, two, three, four, five. So in the end, then your layer book, I can just show it to you, you guys. So here's Maria's, here it is, healthy rules. And she has rule number one written out. And there's rule two, and rule number three, and rule number four, and rule five. So she stapled them together and then we glued it on here and she has all of her rules for healthy eating. There are other little books, which they call, I think, a fold-out book. That would be this. So there's an answer to the question on every page. They had to define aerobic exercise, which means with air. 
and then they had to write a list of and draw pictures or however they wanted to of different things that they like to do that would be considered aerobic exercise. Here was another one of them was playing is healthy and they got to write about why playing helps you to be strong and so that was what Maria had written there and then here's another one of her um, the healthy balance. It is simple. Just keep your body balanced. <laughs> Question. You're unsure of what the answer might be based on the reading, which really everything is pretty much spelled out. They do have, and I have it marked here, the answer key. And so they go through all of the answers. It says, what five basic rules should kids follow to stay fit and healthy? And these are the basic rules right here. So you know, you know, if you have an older child that is really good at writing, they can write out the whole entire sentence. If your children are younger, like I think this is more appropriate for, we uh, summarized and, in, and just kind of wrote a little summary or a phrase for each of these. And when you're done with all of the project packs or, you know, with all the little project papers, you will have this nice folder all put together. They do like to decorate. So Maria was working at uh, her front cover here. And every day she sort of doodles a little bit on it. Typically what I do is I have the scissors and their pages set out so that while I read and while we're talking, uh, they can either be doodling or kind of adding some information to their front cover or they can be cutting out the pages that we're going to need for that day and I would say we probably work on this at least this healthy body unit it probably takes us about 20 minutes if everyone is just staying focused and not like running away from the table or something like that so not a whole lot of time for this particular unit now let's look at a unit that is a little bit more involved so the next unit here we're going to look at is 1015 and this is the declaration of independence multi-level on their website they say that this is for grades three through eight i would say that is very very fair. This one is going to have the same types of things in introductory page. It's going to have the same introduction. So like if you buy these as just an e-file, which I've bought many of them as the e-file, they had a really good one on, I think it was drugs and alcohol year uh, that I had my older kids do probably when they were like maybe 13, 14. That was a really good one. And we just got the e-book of that one. You know, you don't have to print this out every single time. This is really important. And when I do print these out for my older kids that work on these on their own, we actually tack this right up on the wall, kind of next to their desk, or um, I have even glued it right onto like their front cover of their lap book. <laughs> so they have exactly what they have to do. So this one is a six day unit and there are vocabulary words. There's the guide for the reading. There are the activities that need to be completed, and then there is the uh, continuous activities as well, which are vocabulary and a timeline that they would be working on throughout the whole thing. This unit I can already tell just by looking at what all they have to do each day that if this was an older child that was working on this on their own, they are going to spend probably 30 minutes. There's a very long big bibliography for this book. Again, you can assign your children. It's a great way for them to use the internet for something other than just screwing around and, you know, watching videos and things like that. Although watching videos is not always screwing around. You can be learning things, but anyway, you know what I mean. There's also a whole list of books, so recommended books for this unit. I will often times assign some of these books. What I'll do is go to my library website, put a hold on all of these, and as they come in, look at which books would be appropriate for which levels is, you know, which level of child is using this. Here are the activities. So this is where I would have the, I would put a sticker on this page for activity instructions. These are the two that continue, vocabulary and timeline. This is kind of nice too. I, they break it down. Like if you have younger children, the question they're going to answer is, what was the Boston Tea Party? If you have older children, they're going to a answer, what was the Boston Tea Party and how was it significant to the signing of the Declaration of Independence? And they even give you some little pictures of what it might look like. And then here, here's the reading. This one the readings are a little bit longer each day there's more information for sure um, you know I just feel like this one has a lot more meat to it here are some of the activity pages that your children you know you can tear this right out they can cut this one out 
or you can photocopy it and they can cut it out. And so they would just cut this out like this, fold on the lines. It tells you all the instructions under in the direction area back there. So lots and lots of different activity pages marked out for older kids, some for younger kids. Here's American Revolution. They're making like sort of like a little newspaper in this one. Here we go. Here are all of the answers for this book. I do have a number of homeschooling videos and I will link that playlist here down below for you guys. And I do include a number of bits and pieces of our homeschooling day in my real life mom vlog videos. So if you like this material, you wanna see more homeschooling, um, I would love to have you hit the subscribe button, the bell, also gives you the notifications right away. And let me also just tell you quickly, my kids, because I don't think I mentioned this at the beginning, my kids range in age from seven all the way up to 20 three <laughs> and uh, so currently we're homeschooling four of them and they are in first grade third grade sixth grade and 10th grade so if that's the type of content that you are interested in hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video bye